So you can't find your Android phone. Don't panic, it's not a big deal, we've all been there. It's a scary moment, but that doesn't mean it's lost yet. We're sure you've retraced your steps, checked under the seat cushion, called it, all that. So now we're kicking things into DEF CON 1. I'm Corey Gaskin, and we're gonna show you the best ways to find your lost Android phone. As a quick note, these tips will require you to have certain options or apps installed or turned on, though you may already have them turned on even if you don't remember doing so. And as you may already know, your phone's last location is only as good as the last time it had reception or battery life. So who do you call when you lose your phone? Yourself? The police? Well, yes. But in between those options is the best way to search for anything. Google. Head to google.com, sign into the Gmail account you set up on your phone, and search Find My Phone in the trusty Google search bar. This will activate the Find My Device feature built into any Android device running a version newer than 2.3. As long as you meet that requirement, which you most likely do, and you haven't disabled location services on your phone, then this dashboard is your best bet. From here, you can remotely ring the device, lock it and sign out of your Google account, and even erase it if all hopes of getting it back are gone. If it is found by someone, you can display a message on screen as well. Something like a phone number to call, or a nice message asking for your phone's safe return. You know, something polite they do have your whole world right now. If you haven't lost your phone yet and you want to ensure that these settings are enabled, head to the settings menu under security or lock screen and security depending on the phone and ensure that the toggle for find my device is switched on. Download the app, sign in, and you're good to go. Lastly, for built-in features of Android, you're going to want to make sure that you use some sort of lock screen or passcode option. That way if somebody does get a hold of your phone and they're able to factory reset it, they won't be able to get back into your phone without your Gmail password thanks to factory data reset protection. So at least in the worst case scenario, you got them there. There are third party options as well, and one we recommend is an app called Prey Anti-Theft. This offers remote control access as Google's Find My Device does, as well as more in-depth information like GPS coordinates and your MAC address. The capper on this app though may easily be the ability to trigger the camera to capture photos of the thief or location of your phone. For Samsung devices, Find My Mobile is another option to lock, wipe, or locate your missing Samsung device. This requires a Samsung account though, and the remote controls option to be enabled on your smartphone. You can ensure this is set up by heading to settings, biometrics and security, Find My Mobile, and enabling remote controls. Losing your phone can be a costly and scary misadventure, so taking a couple quick precautions can save you a lot of time and money. And as always, use common sense when you're trying to retrieve your phone from either a good Samaritan or thief. Don't give out any personal information, communicate through something like email, and if things do get sketchy, please don't endanger yourself needlessly. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the notification bell, like, subscribe, and go to digitaltrends.com to keep up on more tech news.